So this, this being frozen, this is overstressed here. There's tightness on both sides, but a little bit more even on your right side here, but both sides need to be, so you want to have pressure, you know, pressing that in. That's where it needs to be unlocked. And we're, in a minute when we're stretching, we're going to okay. hold pressure there. But I tilt your head to the left a little bit for me. That, I heard it. <laughs> it was like a little <laughs> pop. I heard it. Wow. You're, you're not spending time here more than 30 seconds or a minute. You're just, it's kind of awkward. Okay. You're just trying to loosen up that SI joint using the weight of your thighs right. to press down on the SI joint. I am an NPC bodybuilder in bikini, the bikini division. Um, I'm also a fitness coach and sports nutritionist with my own business, Barbells Fitness. Okay. So everything I do is around fitness. <laughs> Tell me what, you're, what causes the most stress in your lower back when you're doing it. I would definitely say squats. Mm -hmm. I've always struggled with squats my entire life. I always notice that it's like I kind of curve down and I notice I'm using my lower back a lot. and. That's really the main one that's always really messed me up, like okay. really bad. Go ahead and point for me. Where's the most pain? I would definitely say right here. So I'm always feeling very tightness right here. Mm -hmm. And when I first started coming here, it was all the way down my leg. Mm -hmm. So it was all the way down to my ankle, and now I don't feel that at all. It's just, it's tight. Okay. So. so the lower back, we've talked about before, this area typically, when we're squatting, the curve in your lower back goes straight. And right. what that does is it, all the weight gets handed off to your lower back, and now, We've gone through a few visits with you, got you loosened up. We're going to start talking about the molding and the stretching today. Yep. The arch in your lower back allows you to go longer between adjustments and it keeps your middle back moving. Right. If your middle back is bound up, and this is typically when you're weightlifting your diaphragm, your traps, your quadrace lumborum, your lats, all attach here in your middle back. So this area becomes more fortified and then that allows your lower back to overstress Right. along with the brassiere, which binds your middle back. So you have a lot of things guarding your middle back that need to be proactively cared for so that they don't completely lock down, leaving your lower back to be the sole right. part, part of your back that's doing anything. Literally every time I went in, when my sciatic was the worst, he would press my lower back. Right. We want to, the, the lower back pain you're describing is, you have two, two pains going on. One is the joint. There's mm -hmm. the joint in your lower back, which gives you local pain. Sometimes people will actually come in with sciatica and they don't think they have a lower back problem. They'll say, oh no, it's just my leg. And I go, well, right. it's the nerve in your lower back that's pinched and you feel it down that's your leg. That's where it started, yep. If I hit my funny bone nerve, I feel it mainly here. I don't really feel it so much at the elbow. So when you're hitting the nerve, you'll feel it mainly in the leg. Right. But, and I have the lower back discomfort and I'm having the leg discomfort. So we have joint pain mm -hmm. and we have nerve root or sciatic pressure of the nerve right. which goes down your leg so we have two injuries the joint and the disc are both injured to give us both of those pains and so chiropractically we don't want to be working on that area it's a like a sprained ankle we want to leave that sprained area alone yeah. and redirect pressure to the areas above and below and that's the only way to stop the area from being inflamed right. swollen we want to avoid heat on it take a hot shower like we've talked about but don't be rounded in a hot shower with heat hitting your lower back it will feel good but the muscles are tight to protect that area they're not your enemy they're helping to guard the area that's been sprained and injured we want to work again around it and i'm sorry that chiropractors like we'll, i'll show you on the side posture we want to not on the side posture adjust your lower back because that's where it's injured we want to work around it right and it's, just, it. it's, just, it's just unfortunate different chefs Different chiropractors cook different ways, and they want to. We live in a very symptomatic world where care is, you know, focused on the symptoms and not the source. So yeah, her, her small of her lower back, her L5 is right here. This is the L5 vertebrae. This the L5 joint will refer pain outwards into the air surrounding area, and then if it goes down her leg, it's because, you know, she's just super powerful, super powerful, in her middle back. This area gets glued up and then you're moving too much down here. We want to loosen up the SI joints, loosen up the middle back, and that's what we're going to do today. Thank Abby, you. start on your back. Hold your side for me a little bit. Here we go. I want to take it easy on that lower back. All right. Abby, come back onto your back. Keep the knee straight up and down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale. Deep breath in. Chin down a little bit. Exhale. Yeah, okay. Let's 
go on your side facing me. All right, put your hands in your belly for me. All right, you're gonna breathe. So we don't wanna be adjusting her in her injured area, you know, right down here. Mm -hmm. It's, un, you know, nobody should be trying to adjust her lower back. This is where the injured disc and joints are. We're gonna work below and above. Take a deep breath in, exhale. Good, deep breath in, exhale. Other side for me, good, beautiful. All right, breathe, I got you. Exhale. Mm -hmm. Breathe, exhale. Good. Face up for me. Loosen up this upper neck a little bit. Let's see how it's moving here. I got your head. Let me have the head. There you go. Let the chin go up a little bit. Okay, we got work to do. There we go. Chin up for me. Here we go. Good. All right, we got a little knot right here. We want to loosen this. Yeah, that's why I feel tightness. Yeah, yeah. So the right side of your neck moved pretty well, and the left didn't exactly enjoy me going in there and loosening it. So. I have a friend who did, I guess, fitness modeling, mm -hmm. bodybuilding kind of competitions yeah. years ago when she was probably in her 20s. A lot of people, when you say bodybuilding, they expect you to be this huge person. I'm like, no, oh, there's different divisions. Yeah, you know? she's like super fatigued. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. There's so many different divisions, and I do the smallest one. You know, just you, you just get some muscle density and leanness, nothing like Arnold, right. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Going to bulk here. Yeah, like some people look at me like, uh, bodybuilding, what? I'm like, no, not like that. <laughs> Currently in off season right now. Mm -hmm, right there. Yeah, pretty quickly. See right there, that's where it's. There's a little kind of graininess. You feel that inside? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we want to kind of internally. There's some tangles. There's almost always a reason for, you know, asymmetries and or things not moving properly. There's an internal, what do we say, argument that's the call going on. Right. So we gotta. I gotta play referee. Mm -hmm. Calm down, everybody. Just sit down. <laughs> Stop arguing. As a parent of four children, it seems like all I do is play referee. <laughs> Uh -huh. You, here, you, up there. Yeah, could definitely feel that right there. <laughs> Pressure. Crunchy. Crunchy. There. Oh. <laughs> that just feels so weird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was allowed to heal wrong. It was allowed to heal tangled. It didn't, when we had an injury, it didn't go back to how it looked before the injury. Hmm. Kind of like a dent on your door. It, right. You know, they didn't, nobody went over and pulled it. And now I'm going to pull it out and... What are you doing? There's not supposed to be any dents. This is not normal to have this graininess up here and restriction in your upper neck or the middle back. It's That's what it feels like all the right. time. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, it's just like I said, we're not, we haven't nobody guided us from a young age and right. just became normal. But yeah, a lot of people normalize it. That right. like back pain, they right. really do. It's like I've just, I have the normal amount of headaches. I'm like, what? Yep. What do you mean you have the normal amount of headaches? Oh, it's, you know, half the week. <laughs> That's not normal. No, and they normalize it all the mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Okay. Hold your head. I got you. Mm -hmm. Relax. There you go. Chin up. There it is. A little piece. Yep. Little tight there. Okay. We're going to do a face down for me. so much better. <laughs> yeah, you did great. Town. Now you'll have a video that you can point. Here, watch this. This is what I want done. <laughs> and then I think my mother in law said that she did that, and she said, the chiropractor said, Yeah, I don't want to do that. 
like the one I was going to, I mean, he would press right in my lower back, and I was wondering why I wasn't getting better. <laughs> Right. And Sorry. Even when I'm pressing up here, you know, if you, if you start feeling stuff in yeah, your right. in your lower back, you have to let me know. Like it yep. should just be uncomfortable, perhaps where I press. Mm -hmm. No, I don't feel anything. I just feel a little pressure right now. Now that you said it, like yeah. down there, but nothing. But just where I'm pressing. But if you start right. feeling it in the lower back, I got to work higher. Okay. And we stay up here. You know, if it's what happens is when you get close to the lower back, the lower back can start moving a tiny bit, and even if it's sprained, uh -huh. even just a tiny bit of motion, you know upsets it. There it is. Yeah, that's where I feel it. My lower back a little bit. Yep. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. The most responsible vertebrae for the sprain is the one right adjacent to it. So yeah, the one I right feel next all to my lower back right now. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling pain in your lower back? It was like was it, like, it was like pain, but like tightness too. Mm -hmm. Only in that one spot. As we retract your pain, it's like we're only still. <laughs> A few steps from the Grand Canyon, That's you know, so crazy. and I feel great. Yeah, but you're five steps, five <laughs> steps that way, and you're in free fall. Yeah, you know, that so was it's me last week. <laughs> right, right, and so healthcare is really about walking away and moving away from the cliff edge. So you're so far from it that you can put some stress on your back and not fall off the cliff. Right, right. So when you're young, it's easier to quickly retract the pain but the causes have to be addressed. Otherwise, we live this depressing relationship where it's like, oh, okay, I felt great for a week or two and then it's yeah. back. And that's because the alignment has to be changed and I can't change your alignment on the table. It can only be changed through stretching. And that's the reality. Either we come to accept it as chiropractors or we keep on telling people that we're gonna change people's posture through adjustment. And I wish it were true that I could adjust you and mm -hmm. push the lumbar lordosis curve in your back, but. The only way to get it is to restore it through stretching. And in order to stretch properly and effectively, we have to have a loosened up spine. Your spine needs to be soft, flexible, and malleable so that we don't just bend right. where you're injured. Oh yeah, I tried to bend back and my it hurt my back worse. And mm -hmm. well, correct, you're just bending at the bottom. You shouldn't be doing any stretching until you first have your spine unlocked. Uh -huh. Okay. so that we can safely stretch. So we start with the roller and then we're gonna move up to the den or all, but okay. we're just going in here and I can, right now I'm just diverting stress. We're taking the stress that our lower back and we're moving it up to our middle back. This area never has surgery. It just sits on the sidelines and observes the football game. It watches all the players on the field like, oh, that must've hurt. <laughs> you know, right. it's a good thing I'm on the sidelines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't wanna get injured. The areas that don't work don't age and the areas that work quadruple age at a yeah, quadruple pace. Right. That's all that's happening in our back. And Well, there's inflammation in her lower back. Aren't you going to give, we should give her some anti-inflammatories. No, you should get rid of the reason for why the inflammation's yeah. there. That's what you should do. Yeah. The inflammation is a process. Your body's trying to dilate the tissue to increase blood flow to get the to get nutrients in and get the old dead cells that are damaged out. Mm -hmm. It's actually a healthy process. Now that dilation ag agitates the nerves, causes pain. And if I asked 100 people, is inflammation have a positive connotation or a negative connotation? Well, inflammation's bad. Right. We gotta take anti-inflammatories right. to get the inflammation down. No, inflammation is a tool your body uses to repair itself. It is not bad or, it's, it's a process. Uh, it's, it's is it, it, is it annoying? Yeah, yes, yeah. but it's, it's, it's needed for your body. Do you want your body to repair itself or not? Right. You know, it's like potholes on the road that need to be repaired. It's like these, this is a process for fixing it. Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. Right there, yeah. Oh, Lord. Yep. Right there, wow. Yeah, that's like excruciating. That's, that's rough. What is that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Good heads and joints. Wow. 
A lot of, a lot of nerves in here, a lot of joints in here, a lot of mouths to feed. Ooh. Yeah. Can you see the crumb? That's a definition of a spasm. <laughs> definition of a trigger point. She's got one underneath her scapula here. So the more forward the shoulder goes, the more those muscles are contracting, trying to hold everything together. Then they tear because they're, oh. there's less on this side. There's less. See how it's a little smoother on this side? Yeah, it doesn't feel as bad, but it still hurts. <laughs> mm -hmm. This quadratus lumborum attachment here on the 12th rib, this, this binds up the lower back, lumbar vertebrae, and keeps everything in like a vice grip. Mm -hmm. so just, this allows the lower back to open up and breathe a little bit. It feels like it a lot. It's mm -hmm. crazy. I believe whatever doesn't kill you makes you stranger. I remember you telling me that. <laughs> I know. Uh, I mean, that my tattoo. Uh, yes. Sorry, Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> Sorry. That. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, That's old, so weird. Old injuries not, that don't exist on your right and then on your left. Really? Right there. How is that possible for it to happen on one side only? Right, well, something happened when you were twisting or sitting a certain way or even your alignment when you, before you did an activity. Mm -hmm. The alignment determines where the forces go and so one side was already doing extra and so when we did something, like this side got a little bit injured but this side got 60-70% of it. Oh, wow. More went to one side. That's where she needs it, right there. There's the tightest. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. I know all the hiding spots. Yeah. <laughs> you do. Oh, man. Uh -huh. That's crazy. This is where we're going to aim when we're on the dental roll. We're going to start with the roller, but you're going to try to bring it down right over to this spot here. So we're going to start up here in a minute, and we're going to bring it down okay. to here. And this is where we're going to have your knees side to side, and we're going to see okay. if we can sort of work both sides to get this to sink in. And then before you exercise and get to squatting or gym exercises, okay. you want to have a conversation, you know, check in on this area, make sure that it's mobile. If this area is mobile, we're not, it's not possible to overstress your lower back. Okay. If this is all bound up, then we need to spend some time up here ensuring that your middle back is functioning and that you're not just going to be doing your exercises with just your lower back doing a majority of the work. And that's all it is right oh, there. God. Yep. Oh. 
see if we can adjust it again in a second. I've got it nice and loosened up. But So above and below, we're just loosening the SI joint now a little bit. Should just hurt when I'm pressing, right? Mm -hmm. that, okay, good. It's, it's not good, but <laughs> good in terms of it's not right. hurting your lower back and we're there are good pains and bad pains. If it just hurts where we're pressing, we're okay. Oh boy. Yep, I can feel it in my lower back now. Mm -hmm. okay. That was like all down my leg. That was weird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean, just as you're... So the, the if the SI joint is stiff, when I try to make the SI joint move, the lower back moves a little bit. Right. And so is it okay to... It's not, that shouldn't happen. <laughs> it should just, it should just move where, should be uncomfortable where I press, not somewhere else. If that happens, it's, be, that's why she's, you, that goes right, back to that proximity. You, that mean you have to like back off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to back off, which means this takes longer because I can't do what I want to do because I can't loosen up the SI joint without upsetting L5 and lovely. <laughs> we can't, so you don't just, you know, this, I, would be, I would consider that a bad, if it, if it just hurts where I'm pressing, hang in there. Yeah, I can feel it on my leg too, my mm -hmm. hamstring. Now we're, do, now we're sorting the sciatic nerve, so the tissue around the sciatic nerve is inflamed, mm -hmm. so that makes the, we have to clean the tissue, the inflammation around the sciatic nerve, get some blood in here to rinse out the acidity, and that'll make the sciatic nerve less sensitive. The tissue around the sciatic nerve is very sensitive, so just mm -hmm. putting some pressure on that tissue, that's why, she, that's why you feel it down your leg. The mobility of the SI joint keeps this tissue clean, keeps the acidity out of here. The motion of the joint they found when you, when you move a joint, any muscle innervated by the nerves coming out of that joint mm -hmm. automatically relax, and that's why the adjustment is one of the best ways to relax a muscle. Huh. This, the, there's a reflex right. that happens when you adjust the joint. Well, why don't you adjust L5? Well, those muscles are actually helping her. So we don't want to adjust L5 because the muscles that are spasmed around that area, the tightness in there, even though you could relieve it by adjusting L5, those tight muscles are actually helping to guard the area of injury. So releasing them further allows the joint to be injured, which then causes the tightness to come back and we live this depressing relationship. So the only way to treat those tight muscles is to remove the stress off the area so that the areas aren't needing to guard anything and then they won't be tight anymore. And that's it. No, Ed. Not, I know. <laughs> not the SI joint. I'm trying not to say it. But <laughs> Shoot! Right there, a little yeah, click. Yeah, mm -hmm. that hurts. Mm -hmm. What is that? Injury. A, it doesn't exist on your right SI joint. Mm -hmm. There's an injury right here. The original tissue was organized and like a, like a newly paved road, mm -hmm. right? There's no bumps, but when you damage a road and then you patch it, I don't know if the guy with the steamroller can't get it perfect, you know, but there's always like a, it's kind of like your skin, you know, if you run over a, your a new, new skin or original skin, right, and then you have a scar and it doesn't feel the same as the old skin, old skin yeah. or the uninjured skin, let's call it, right? It's because the scar tissue isn't the same tissue that you were born with. Okay. And it's not as organized, and so you can feel the disparity between the two. I'm not going to bow her because I don't want to upset L5, so we're just going to go to stretching in a second. We're going to try to aim the pressure right in here. Just leave. No, nobody touches here. Okay. <laughs> Everybody leaves the lower back alone. We just focus up here.
<laughs> no biggie. So easy. <laughs> what do you got? Like your nails, uh huh? Thank you. <laughs> just check it. There we go. Okay, go ahead and just lean back, lean back a little bit. Like forward. that. There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. <laughs> Strong wrists. <laughs> Jeez. I keep the mobility of the joint is what keeps the joint healthy. So, you know, power will lock the wrist, but we want to keep not lose any range of motion in there. Right there is a little restriction. You mm -hmm. feel that right there? Right. Like feels like tightness. Right. This this is moving. That's all fluid. Yeah. <laughs> and then the bones in here don't want to move as much just from are you do right dominant? I don't yep. think this is much on this side. I can take my I mean, look at that, look at the huge difference. Can you feel that? There's, yeah. there's nothing. It's like it's like nice and soft normal. here. <laughs> soft here. Yeah. Soft here. I don't feel anything. And then there's How a, weird! It's like you there's busted a, this wrist before? No, never. I've never even broken a bone. Just like muscle will grow, bones grow. So when you overstress a joint, holding a bar, or, you know, mm -hmm. doing a weight, this these joints will grow in here, and they term this arthritis. <laughs> it's not arth meaning joint, itis meaning inflammation. So the joint's inflamed. When the joint gets inflamed, it starts to grow. Mm -hmm. So we want to clear out any acidity. The acidity is what attracts calcium. So. It's inside your tattoo, but there is some mark coming out right there. That's a pretty tattoo as well. Thank you. Who did that? Um, it was in Gainesville, oh, okay. and I stopped going to him, but the same guy I went to for the snake, he does the same exact work. Beautiful work. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Like, show me. Show me, like, go like this with your with, with that wrist. I can't process this. <laughs> <Okay>. or, or, <laughs> 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 what are you doing with your hand there? It was like, like, like comprehensive. I'm confused. I'm saying, I can't process that. <laughs> I was just like, what? So I'm just trying to do like, show me. This may be simpler. You're like this. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to gauge the range of motion of your ability to, you know, bring your, you understand, to bring your hand back. Like that? Kind right. Of? How? Right. Let's make this into a fist and make it simpler. <laughs> there we go. Keep that up. You know, how difficult that is it just, versus this side. It's like you side. don't want to go. Right. And this side is just like... It bends and extends yeah. easier. Right. So, like I yeah, said... Yeah, this one, this one really just... Right, we want to work on that joint. You, you know, if you... Dart, just remind me, when you come in, every once in a while, I'll check out that right wrist and... Maybe from lifting something? Well, the, it, I was wondering, how would that happen? Well, like, it would be from stress. You know, even if it... You know, doing your... You're bench pressing, you know, any, right. any type of weight, a bar in here, you're putting stress on these joints. Mm -hmm. If you're right dominant, you know, you'll you'll see sometimes you're, yeah. you're doing more with that side than you are with your, even though you're trying to do it evenly. I noticed so, that actually. Mm -hmm. So you're, they're just more stress and the joint is growing a little bit. Just like, like I can't really tell, like my thumbs, this one joint's bigger over here because I stressed out that okay. joint. Okay, yeah, right. I'm more, I must thumb harder with my one joint than my other one. I don't know, just so this joint's growing a little bit, so the joints will grow. And then over time, the range of motion goes down, so you're, you won't be able to, you know, 30, 40 years from now. So we want to preventively work that, keep the joint moving, get any soreness that's in there out of there. The mobility of the joint is what washes the joint. So when, the, when you lose your ability to move it, now that keeps a pocket of right. inflammation in there but that attracts calcium, and now you have a bone spur you're just going to tilt your head to the right a little bit for me. There you go. Good. That, was, <laughs> that ear adjustment, I didn't even think that was a thing. <laughs> that is so weird. I right, got you. You're going to have you tilt your head a little bit to the right. There we go. It's okay. Good. Wow. That is, that is so weird. Here we go. I got you. Right, tilt your head to the left a little bit for me. That, I heard it. <laughs> it was like... A little pop. <laughs> I heard it. Wow. Tilt your head a little bit left for me. Wow. That is crazy. Wow. I feel like so 
blood some tension. Blood, blood, some yeah. blood flowing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. So this, this being frozen, this is overstressed here. There's tightness on both sides, but a little bit more even on your right side here, but both sides need to be, so you want to have pressure, you know, pressing that in. That's where it needs to be unlocked. And we're, in a minute when we're stretching, we're going to okay. breathe. Let me see if I can take one of these out. Come on, breathe. Yeah. There you go. All right. And try to, we're going to have you roll a little bit downwards. I know. So we're going to roll upwards a little bit. You're going to move upwards. That's going to move down your back. I know. Yeah, right over that, that yeah. bump that's horrible. Mm -hmm. And then bring your feet together, knees together. And then bring your knees left. So rotate. There you go. Eventually, eventually the knee touch the ground, eventually. Oh, I know, breathe. Good. You slowly bring your knees back up. Breathe. Exhale. When you move, exhale. There you go. And then stay in the middle for a second. Prepare yourself. <laughs> move your feet slightly left. And then bring your knees right. Breathe in deep. Exhale. Stretch. Feel that left side stretching open. Compress that right side. Yep. There you go. It's kind of like a, kind of like a drawer. Sometimes you got to give a little yep. bit of a shake to get the drawer to slide in. Come back up. And come back up when you're ready. And then usually take about five, ten seconds each way, and then about a minute in the middle. So then take a break, stay in the middle for about a minute. So roll upwards again, about one inch. Oh no. I know, I know. We're gonna enter it. Oh, I know. Oh, All right. Just hurt more it's pressing, right? Hurting mm -hmm. hurting in here? Yeah. Good. Well, not good, but that's <laughs> expected. We have to master this. When you've mastered the middle back stretching, there can't be any discomfort in your lower back because the middle back is supposed to function before your lower back. So your resistant middle back is allowing your lower back to overcompensate and overwork. Right. So that's what I mean by checking your middle back throughout the day, or especially before you go ask for red line, <laughs> ask for you know a okay. lot from your, your spinal engine. We gotta check. So do this before? I would, yeah, half okay. or 10 minutes, five minutes, just before you go do some exercising, and if you, what will happen is this will become easier. As we progress through our care, this will get very, very easy. And I, I can't believe I had any difficulty, you know, kind of idea. Right. And then the longer you go between adjustments, it becomes more difficult again. When it's easy, you can go to the gym, get on it. Your middle back's easy. You can go do your things. You'll be fine. Right. But at some point, you'll go try to do the stretch before you go do your weightlifting, and this, and this is difficult. Mm -hmm. Then if you go exercise with this being stiff, your ability to sprain your lower back is easy. It's easy to injure your lower back if your middle back right. isn't working. So, you know, I would probably recommend either spending more time on the days that you have difficulty in here, just ensuring that your middle back, maybe not going so crazy. If your hands go numb, you can put them to the side or, you know, I know, I know, put them over here. I know. Felt that one in my back. Yep, yeah, it's okay. Yep, yeah, put your arms to the side. Like that. Yep, yep. And then go ahead and roll, go ahead and push with your feet and you're gonna roll upwards a little bit. Come on, come on. I know. You gotta start. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Yep. It's so, so tight. You have to like, work. And then you maybe you run away. And if it's too difficult, you run back away up to your upper back. You understand? It's like I feel like the tension, like it doesn't, it feels good actually, but like moving, mm -hmm. super, super like. And that's why we start with the roller, because the roller allows you to move. The right. dental roll doesn't allow you to move. And so oh, okay. this is easier for beginners, so it doesn't, you don't get stuck right. in one spot. So you're moving up and down, and you don't stay in any one spot for more than a minute. That way you don't get okay. stuck in a spot, and so I recommend. And then as you progress through this, you're able to stay in one spot longer. You okay. stay, you know, eventually on the roller 20 minutes one spot, right? And then at that point when all the spots are easy, we can move to the den roll. Okay. And so I gotta like master this. Right, so you're ready. Start, start, start get the roller out, start in the upper back. Okay. Every day, the best time is about a half hour, hour before you go to bed. I wouldn't do this right when you wake up. Let your spine be upright. Mm -hmm. It's a little swollen in the morning, so we want to avoid stretching right after we wake up. Just get up, walk around. Okay. Whatever you got to do. I don't, I don't, it, I'm yeah. scared. You're not going to hurt anything, I promise. It, it, no, no, you're rolling. Oh, no. Just roll. Now, now take, stay here, stay here. Breathe, breathe. I felt like a crack. That felt nice. Good, good. <laughs> no, this is what I mean by having a relationship with your middle back. You, right. You're talking to your middle back. Are all the joints in your middle back working? If they're frozen up there, I wouldn't be doing any right. extra. You're going to sprain it. You're going to sprain it easily. Right. I'm not really stretching here. This is not stretching. I'm just scanning I'm seeing, right. how resistant is my uh, my heels. Obviously, you probably want to be barefoot so you get a good grip mm -hmm. on the ground. And you're scanning. And then you try to get your head 
back. I don't want okay. this. Notice how my back is not bending and all my neck right. is bending, it, right? Yeah. So this is, ow, oh, my neck's killing me. Correct. I want your back bending. Like the arch. Right. And you're staying here one minute. Okay. One minute. And I'm just pushing with my feet. To come back, yeah, you have to sort of grab here. Yep. Push. Or, you know, you can, you know, your heels can do it. You just get a grip and then, you know, you're pulling. Okay. And then you lift your bottom up slightly so you can relieve that so it's not dragging. And then, yeah, you bring it eventually right over that spot that I was elbowing. Mm -hmm. When you can do 20 minutes. Yeah, that, that's a spot that was super tight. Like, you, I felt... You can't tight. be spraining your lower back if this is easy. If right. your middle back was functioning properly, biomechanically, this part of your back is supposed to function before your lower back. Mm -hmm. This becomes tight. The curve in your back goes straight. All the work gets transferred to your lower back. All the bending and folding occurs in your lower back. Mm -hmm. That's why you're spraining it. Why the disc was injured, the joint's injured. Right. We want to transfer the work to the SI joint below. There is a, you're not ready for this one yet, but there is an SI joint stretch you could do. We put this on the SI joint. It's not really a stretch, it's more loosening. Mm -hmm. And you massage. See what I've done? Right, yeah. I'm working <laughs> this tissue. Be. You're not ready yeah. yet for it, but I'm saying this is something. Okay. You're, you're not spending time here more than 30 seconds or a minute. You're just, it's kind of awkward. Okay. But you're just trying to loosen up that SI joint using the weight of your thighs right. to press down on the SI joint. And then you avoid the lower back. And you go back to stretching your middle back. Okay. To okay. get off, you run yeah. away until I'm off. And then lay down and roll to your side like I've taught you. Mm -hmm. No more, you know. <laughs> just getting up. <laughs> getting up. Just roll to your side. Do a side push up. Watch. But watch what happens when I bend forward. Feel. Feel. Okay. Feel how tight it got. Yeah. Right. right? So if I'm so, so if the more forward, I, it's impossible for it not to be tight. Otherwise, I'd fall over. Right. Right. But as I come upright. It goes back to feeling soft again, right? Oh, yeah. So your posture determines the tightness, right? Okay. So if we're on our phone for or sitting in a car or looking down, right, and then you get out of the car, your body retains some of that forward, and then this is tight, then you go try to exercise right. and then your lower back. So that's what I mean by if you were looking if you're studying or school or whatever life, you know, you're driving and computer work, you wanna if you did this for a while, you want to go right on the roller. Okay. You, it's asking for, you can't just stand up straight. You have to bend it the opposite way for the middle to be where you want to be. So that's what you're doing with the roller. You're asking for. I can never. <laughs> but you're asking for way <laughs> more. Crazy, right? right? So now it's easy to be here. Right. This is, <laughs> this is easy to be neutral. I do neutral. a lot of computer work too. So like after my computer work, you suggest. Rolling. Right. I mean, even when you're even when you're sitting, we should talk about different positions when you're sitting. You know, a chair with a small back, and you sit backwards on the chair, so you don't just sit normally rounded forward. Mm -hmm. Or if you do sit normally, you should have something behind your back, okay. supporting your back, not letting you slouch. Right. Right. So you want to keep your body and value those curves in your back that aren't valued, and that's why we lose them. How do you maintain something that's not valued? Right. You lose it, and so nobody taught me yet to value this curve. The curve in your spine ensures that you're not just bending with your lower back. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, then it, and then you live a long, happy life and all your friends fall apart and you just, oh, I'm just living through I'm just living my best life. <laughs> Thank Very good. you. Very good. Very Thank good. You. Very good. That Very was good. awesome. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. <laughs>